Inside News Now, I'm Allison Hayslip. Today, we'll chat about Nissan making its car cabins super quiet, Lyft's new game plan for safety, and what happens when you cross a bus with an Uber. Now here's the latest in all things mobility. This episode of Ride News Now is brought to you by the new Harman Spark. Upgrade your current ride with in-car Wi-Fi, virtual diagnostics, and so much more. To activate yours exclusively with AT&T, visit the link in the description. The following story will be read in the pleasant stylings of an ASMR. Shh, do you hear that? Nissan recently introduced a lightweight, cost-effective material that will help reduce cabin noise. The hollow lattice structure of this metamaterial is designed to reduce sonic vibrations in the 500 to 1200 hertz range, right where road noise lives. The car in your driveway right now probably uses a dense rubber material to keep your interior quiet. Nissan says it can drop three quarters of that weight from a car while doing the same job. Shaving weight from your car helps increase efficiency, helping extend fuel mileage or electric range. Electric motors are already quiet in comparison to gasoline engines, which makes road noise even more important. If Nissan can produce this material in large enough volume, it can help keep your car quiet while also increasing efficiency through weight savings. Quiet is good. Now back to your normally voiced newscast. So you guys, I just took a lift here and the driver was a Korean a P. Not like call the cops creepy, but like weird enough for me to complain about it creepy. Okay, so anyone who uses rideshare regularly has probably had a not so pleasant experience with a driver. Passenger safety can be a serious issue and sadly not from potential crashes, but potential perverts and psychos working for the rideshare giving you a ride. Lyft says they're doing their best, you guys. In its latest effort, the company has formed a safety advisory council, inviting outside groups like the National Sheriff's Association to create smarter, safer plans to keep customers safe. It's definitely not the first thing the company has done to address safety, but seeking help from outside groups at least shows that they really do want to make their platform safer. Fingers crossed. Northern Californians may not even have to worry about spooky rideshare drivers with this one. The city of Sacramento has partnered with mobility solutions company Via to offer a micro transit service that mixes taking the bus with Uber Pool. SAC's smart ride service promises curb to curb on demand rides. Using the smart ride app, you can call one of the 42 medium sized buses around town to come pick you up. Smart ride buses can accommodate way more people than your average rideshare driver's Prius. Safety in numbers, am I right? but they don't require you to get on or off at designated bus stops or travel a specific route. Once your ride is booked, the app will direct you to a virtual bus stop within a short walking distance. It's not quite door to door, but at just $2.50 per trip, the price is nice. Smart Ride has been in the Sacramento area since 2018, but a recent expansion to six new service areas has made it a much more viable transportation option. And at the price point, let's hope it's a massive success and sparks an affordable transportation revolution nationwide. Revolution, dude. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. For more tech news, join us over at Ride.Tech and be sure to follow Ride Tech News on your social platform of choice. Northern California. <laughs> Our mom and dad fighting. Dad. <laughs> Puber. Aw, gross. <laughs> Aw, what an adorable hunk. <laughs> Aw, that goose is such a dick. This episode of Ride News Now is brought to you by the new Harman Spark. Upgrade your current ride with in-car Wi-Fi, virtual diagnostics, and so much more. To activate yours exclusively with AT&T, visit the link in the description. Thanks for watching. If you like what you see, please like and subscribe. Also, head to ride.tech for stories, reviews, and more news.